and we're underway at the Elam Center. He gets a screen from Farrell, drives left side, mid uh, block, extended, and hits the jumper. Martin started in a man-to-man. Point lead and the ball in the opening minute. Dane looks inside, gets it to Williams. Williams tried to bounce it across the lane, couldn't do it, drives in by his man, and put it off the glass and in for a Regents Bank bank shot. Strike. Out high, Farrell sets a screen, Payne into the left corner, Fields for three, got it! Dexter Fields with a three, and it's an eight to two racer lead. And the rebound pulled out of there by Payne, he wants to run, he throws it to Moss, he'll drive in, it's missed, put up, no good, put back up and in on a second chance by Williams. Well, I thought that Jeff Moss got fouled, the officials didn't call it, and it resulted in the basket for the racer, so I'll keep my mouth shut. 10 to TJ Samp, who just checked into the game, he throws left side to Moss, he'll dial up a three, and he buried it. They left Moss wide open, he saw what he liked, and he got it. Corner to Samp. He's looking to get it to Williams, bounces it down to him on the mid block. He tries to back down row off the glass and in. Sweet move for a Regents Bank Bank shot. 15 12, the lob, it's stolen by Williams. He'll get a run out and stop oh, it! Oh. A Dunkin' Donuts dunk shot. Williams has eight. We're on three break. Payne looks right. Behind the back to Fields for three. Boom! He hit it! And timeout, Tennessee Martin as the lead goes to 20 to 12. And it's amazing that they have to call a timeout to get the crowd out of the game on their own floor. Across the midcourt stripe at the top of the key. He'll work the far sideline. And he hits Moss. Moss one bounces it to Sapp on the baseline. Drives and he stuffs it! A what, Dunkin' Donuts dunk. What a quick move by T.J. Sapp on the baseline. Two power dribbles and slam. 22 to 12. Back to the right with the pass to Fields. He gets an entry pass out to Moss. Now to Sapp for three. Got another one! T.J. Sapp with five, and it's 25 to 14. Again, in a 1-4 set. Williams sets a screen for Payne's three. It rattles in and out. There for the missed stuff, it's Williams, but he gets his own rebound, goes up and puts it in. Sticks with it. I like that to give the racers a 10-point lead. With Ross on him, spin move by Rambo, puts it up, and somehow he gets that to rattle in. Nice job by Tyler Rambo. Got in the middle of the zone, was able to make something happen. Now, Sapp. Finds four to the right side. It goes to Moss. Sidesteps his man. Goes up for that floater, and he buried it. Nice job by Jeff Moss getting that left-handed floater to go. You and I both like that thing so much. Bain looks left, goes right, gets a screen from Farrell. Doesn't want to shoot at that point, but puts the elbow jumper up on the left side, and he drained it. Four for Bain. Good patience by Cam getting a better shot. The double team. He hooks it back to Farrell. Right side Moss. Doesn't want the three, throws to the mid block. It's Williams, he'll try to back down Taylor and he turns around and hits the jumper. I tell you what, Jarvis Williams has de- developed into a great threat at the low post. He just want to run, Payne speeds down the floor, drives inside, puts up a crazy shot and I have no idea how he got it to go in, but it went They had the English on it, that's why it went, the right English. <laughs> Comes to field, now to Moss, brings it to the top. Counts to Sapp, he takes it in the paint, shovels it in to Farrell, he missed, but he tipped his own shot up and in. Nice job by Jonathan staying with it. Here in Martin, Payne lobs it on top to Moss. To the left side it comes to Payne, he's open for three, and he got one. Struggling in the first half over three, but he hits his first here in the left side. Fields out top. Wide open three-pointer, Fields makes him pay, he drains the three. Boy, I tell you that, they let him that loose like that, he will make him pay, just like you said. 49 to 47, the Razor lead is still two. Bain at the top, finds Moss at the free throw line, has to reverse his right hand. Getting stops inside, Payne got away with a walk. Inside it comes to Farrell, who goes through the lane and put it off the glass and in for the Regents Bank Bank shot. 15-03 remaining. Payne in the paint, dumps it off to Williams, who stuffs it, and the Racers are right back on top by one. That one's in and out, and Moss gets the rebound. The Racers a three-on-one break, nearly lost the ball, put it up. It goes in, and he drew the foul. Man, oh, man, what a play. Well, Smith hasn't been happy the entire second half, and he's going to be even less than happy right now as Moss gets that one to go, and he picks up the foul. Side, Now top, Sapp looks to Moss. Faces his defender, Newell. Gets it away to Fields. 
It's a screen, staggered screen there by Fields. Excuse me, by Farrell, and it's up and in by Fields. It's good for a three. To Fields, back to Sapp on the wing. Looking inside for Williams. Can't get it to him. Back to Sapp. Set a screen for him for three, and it's good. T.J. Sapp comes up with a big three. 69-62 Racers. Normally gets his subs. On the left side, Payne gets it into Farrell. A couple of dribbles, turns around, hooks it up and in. Farrell with seven. But a big bucket there makes it 74-66. On the right sideline, Payne looks for a screen, rejects it, puts up the three, buried it. Cameron Payne with the three. He has 11, and the Racers have equaled their biggest lead. Save it, and the Racers with a crazy turnover there, but it's off the heel of Fields, and Sapp's able to drive in and stuff it for a Dunkin' Donuts dunk shot. What a job by Sapp. Forget about those two air balls. Here's my second dunk of the night. One of the things he needs to do. Payne loses his man, pulls up for the 15-foot soft touch jumper, and he knocked it down 81-68. to 68. They may not be falling behind the arc for Payne, but I'll tell you what, inside that 15-foot, he's been deadly. This misses, front of the rim, Moss rebounds, finds Payne. Payne lobs it down to Sapp, off the glass and in for a Regions Bank Bank shot. Sapp was going to go for the slam dunk, but just went with a soft layup instead. 20 for Sapp, 85. Scott's been back in action against Austin Pickle on Saturday, March 1st. It'll be Seeker to come off of the win. Final seconds will tick away, and the Racers are able to secure an 86-72 victory, Paul.